hi YouTube it's Rose and I'm making this video because I would like to proclaim that I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior I accept his gift of salvation I know that he is God come in the flesh died on the cross and by the power of God was rose three days later to give us the gift of the Holy Spirit with the keys to hell and death I ask that he would wash me clean have mercy upon me and forgive me of my sins that he would wash me clean of my sins and all manner of unrighteousness with the blood that he shed on Calvary for me and for you. I accept his gift of forgiveness, salvation, mercy, grace, and the gift of the Holy Spirit that I may be called a child of God, Jesus Christ, our Lord, King, and Savior. Amen. Today I'm going to read Galatians 2.16 knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law but by the faith of Jesus Christ even we have believed in Jesus Christ that we might be justified by the faith of Christ and not by the works of the law for by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified but if we but if while we seek to be justified by Christ we ourselves also are found sinners is therefore Christ the minister of sin God forbid for if I build again the things which I destroyed I make myself a transgressor transgressor for I thought the law for I through the law am dead to the law that I might live unto God I am crucified with Christ nevertheless I live Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. In the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Amen. I do not frustrate the grace of God, for if righteousness come by the law, then Christ is dead in vain. Ephesians Ephesians 1 verse 3 blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ according as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and without blame before him in love having predestined us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself according to the good pleasure of his will to the praise of the glory of his grace wherein he hath made us accepted in the beloved in whom we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace wherein he hath abounded towards us in all wisdom and prudence having made known unto us the mystery of his will according to his good pleasure which he hath purposed in himself that in the dispensation of the fullness of times that he might gather together in all things in Christ which both we which both which are in heaven and which are on earth even in him in whom also we have obtained an inheritance being predestined according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his will that we should be to the praise of his glory who first trusted in Christ in whom ye also trusted after that ye heard the word of truth the gospel of your salvation in whom also after ye believed ye were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption and purchase possession and unto the praise of his glory wherefore I also after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and love unto all the Saints 
cease not to give thanks for you, making all mention of you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that ye may know what is hope, what what is the hope of his calling, and what the what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to, uh, to usward who believe, according to the working of his mighty power, which he wrought in Christ, when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in heavenly places, far above principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named, not only in his world, not not only in this world, but also that which is to come, and hath put all things under his feet, and gave him to be the head over all things to the church, which is the body, the fullness of him that filleth all in all. Amen. Ephesians 2 As you hath he quickened, who were dead in trespasses and sin, wherein in, the, in time past ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also we had our conversation in times past, in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desire of the flesh and of the mind, and were by the nature of the children of wrath, even as others. But God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love wherewith he loved us, even when he, we were dead in sins, he hath quickened us together with Christ. By grace ye are saved, and hath raised us up together, and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus that in ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness towards us through Christ Jesus. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and, not, and that not of yourselves. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. Wherefore remember that ye, being in time past Gentiles in the flesh, who are called uncircumcised by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands, that at the time ye were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope, and without God in the world, but now in Christ Jesus, ye, whom sometimes were far off, are made nigh by the blood of Christ, for he is our peace, who hath made both one, had broken down the middle wall of partition between us, having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments, contained in ordinances, for to make in himself of twain one new man, so making peace, that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross, having slain enmity thereby, and came and preached peace to you, where which are far off, and to them that are nigh. For through him we both have access by one Spirit unto the Father. Now therefore ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God, and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone in whom all buildings fitly framed together groweth unto a holy temple in the Lord, in whom ye also are built together for a habitation of God through the Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much for your time. I pray this bless you. 
Heavenly Father, Lord God, we're just so grateful, Father, for your word. We're so grateful for your gift of salvation through your Son, Jesus Christ. Father, we're so grateful that you are merciful and just to forgive us of our sins. If we confess our sins, Lord, and repent and turn away from our sinful ways, Lord, I pray that you help each and every one of us be dead in the flesh and alive only through the Spirit of your Son, Jesus Christ. Lord God, I pray that you bless each and every one of us, protect us, give us your mercy, your understanding, your peace, your joy of salvation, Lord, and guide us, Father. We just thank you, Father, for everything that you have done. And we ask this all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior and King, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you. Bye.